Hello and welcome everyone, Ghidra here, and it is time for us to tackle Ace Combat 7. So, I have played quite a few of these games. I don't know if I've played all of them. I don't think I played 1 and 2. But I'm pretty sure I've played at least 4, 5, and 6, and Assault Horizon. So I'm pretty excited for this. I really love military aircraft. And this is about the best, really only modern one nowadays. Um, I think my first like air combat game was back on the original PlayStation. And it was actually called Air Combat. And me and my dad played it so much and f had so many dogfights together. It was awesome. So I'm pretty excited to be bringing the Ace Combat series to YouTube for you guys. So... Without any more rambling, let's get started. Yeah, everything uses an autosave. Come on, create some data. I want to get the blowing stuff up. Oh, nobody cares about this. Blah, blah, blah. Control type. Uh, what's this? Get roll and pitch adjustments. Um. So. Left turn right. Let's go expert, I guess. Let's see how that goes. We want English. Feel pretty confident in my flight sim abilities. I am play. I am not, not playing with a, a stick. I am playing with the normal controller. I wish I had a stick. I unfortunately do not have one. Um, I think we should be able to get right into it. They change their defaults because the game is still being what? Yeah. Whatever. New game. And we will play on normal. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me. A hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Ace Combat 7. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. You have really big eyes. in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. Damn drones. I don't see anything good coming from that. You know what? Lang That's a lot of cool aircraft. West of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. Lucky. And that's how we got the parts to build our own plane. What'd you build? Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. Of course. Their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can. <laughs> yeah. I've had it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. 
And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. <laughs> but now, I was all alone. I think that's the first female protagonist in all of them. Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. Yeah. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. Good enough for me. Oh. Nothing beats the sound of a good jet engine. Sound barrier. So I flew up, straight up, through the clouds. That's, the that's how you stall. Dark blue. I could almost touch it. Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chase. F-15. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Crap. You should have been in your best with these piece of junk. Should have built a return too. Oh boy. Wow. I'm actually really surprised we didn't explode. <laughs> Charge assault. instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Is that too beloved? Communication systems went to the afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhan ceasefire agreement has been broken first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Can do. Craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostile I... counterattack, then you will What the hell was that? Uh oh. There's smoke. We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. Yeah, yeah. This is Let's get at it. It's a trigger clown. Knocker, brownie, golem three and four. Hey, I was right. It's a Tupolev 95. TU 95 Bear. Russian bomber. Alright. Um, knock aircraft. Briefing. That's pretty much what we just saw. So let's start the mission. Looks like we, all we get is an F 16, which that's pretty standard. No. Oh. Let's go. And we get some aims. Or AMs. Lock on to up to four targets, making them ideal against numerous enemies. Sounds good to me. Well, let's -a go. Need squadron aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Please tell me I get to take off. Oh. 
Take down the hostile bombers. 15th of May, 2019. It's 1614. Radar sight still silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. Sitting ducks. Yeah. They're just TU-95s. They're not that bad. A couple of F-16s can take them down pretty easily. Go. Oh, a couple Chinooks out there. Right side. Do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Oh, I don't get the. Brings my landing gear up automatically. There's a bear. Roger that. No, Where'd Mage... Hey, Mage 1, where'd you go? The AWAC Sky Keeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay... Um... Flight options. I need... Can you not adjust the sensitivity? It would be nice to actually have that a little bit higher up. Hmm. Guess not. It would be nice to have that a little bit more. It's a little... We're going over Mach 1. Flying through a cloud. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Okay, A is that. It's still a leash, though. Ah, don't worry. Fire a homing missile. I don't know what the range is for a missile. I should have looked. Ah, there we go. Fox 2! Got him! How do I do that? There it is, ah. sitting there all pretty, just waiting to be taken. Over that way. That's cool. So. Oh, that switches the special weapons. How do I. Ah, that's how you switch. I personally like third person best just because I like looking at the plane. I've never been good at flying in first person. So I'll probably stick with that. Probably a little less disorienting to watch too. Couple MIGs up high. We're gonna fly through this cloud to get them. Doesn't look like we have to keep track of um flares at all, or not flares, um fuel. Aha. Got a hit. That should take him out. Yep. Target confirmed down. Let's take out the Meg. Good, Mage two. Locked. Mage two. Targets in range. Trigger our bombers. Ooh. That was bad. I know the kid's shown some promise, but let's remember. Never been good with um. Oh, he got him. Okay, 
Okay, so they got him. Let's go this way now. So you are over this way. Why are you? We're way the hell over here. There's our buddies. There they are. We take out the escort first, or should we just go right for the, right for the bears? It's like we got two bears, two bears, two migs. See what we can. Let's take them all out at once. Let's see how that goes. Yeah! Look at that. That's it. It's great when it's simple. Enemy bomber down. Nice going, Mage 2. Forgot. Not too shabby, Mage 2. You still got a long way to go, kid. I'll give you some pointers back at base if you can make it in one piece. <laughs> I can make it. This is Mage 1 over. Tally 2 bandits. Copy that. It's two more tangos. They're really far out there. Oh, but I must. I gotta do something stupid. We're almost going Mach 3 already, huh? And there's Mach 3. Pretty sure this plane could not get up to Mach 3. At least, uh, and stay together very well. <laughs> Gollum, mage, two new enemy groups. Let's try. Attention all combat groups. Are there any Hold on. Verify. Right Ooh, something's got lock on me. Kind of I wanted to take him with a missile, but there's something he's going to lock on me. I, I don't really want to dick around with that. Fun little fact, Fox 2 actually means, um, you're firing an air-to-air -air missile. So there's Fox 1, 2, 3, and 4. I don't remember what 1, 3, and 4 are off the top of my head. One of them's for ground, and then, uh, the other two are some other things. I might have to look that up and tell you guys in the next video. But I always wondered that, why they said Fox 2. So I looked it up the other day. There he goes. Fire that. Oh, it didn't hit. You douche. We'll get this guy. Kinda wanna... I wanna gun this guy. I wonder how I shoot flares. Because I have flares. I don't know how to use flares. What do you keep locking on me? Ooh! I did not want to shoot four of those. Well, that works, I guess. Flying at the sun. Missed. Ooh, strafed him. You go, where'd he go, where'd he go? Get over here. I get him. Got him. Somebody's got a missile lock on me.
Couple of shots. Uh, should be able to get him with a missile. Where the... Oh, there. There we go. Take out all the targets at once. an aileron roll. Good going, Mage Two. Flight Commander looks like he's got. Nice job, Mage One. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece. You hear? Yeah. Gotta <laughs> fight with the boss man on this. Gone Squadron. This is HQ. Did you confirm any drones? What's the deal with all the drones? I don't think so. I don't think we saw any drones. Column One. Return to base and report for debriefing. Uh oh. Does a want? Yeah. Oh, boy. What's about to happen? Oh, uh, we don't care about the replay. Guided penetration bomb. Bombs that home in on a locked target designed to explode once they penetrated the target's armor. They are potentially devastating. Good for bunkers. First flight. We are currently assessing the damage to the base. What did we get? We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. We know the attacking bombs were from Arusia. International <laughs> peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhen continent were attacked in the same way. It's kind of screwing around, I guess. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. Yeah. Let's uh, speed this up a little bit. No, we don't need to watch that. What do we get? We got 43,000 B rank. I'd say that's pretty good for not having played a game in quite a while. So that's good. I'll take a B rank. Aircraft Chia is unlocked in campaign mode. Can now equip... Upgrade parts. Alright, so with the first mission done, I will see you guys later. So, thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys later with mission two. Bye.